All right, so continuing on here, I've taken and refined this a little bit. Now, uh, an important thing to note here is that I haven't done much to uh, keep my topology clean, and that's not really important at this stage. Um, if you can, by some chance, keep your topology fairly clean, it's not going to hurt, but um, it's not going to hurt if your topology is not that great. So if you can see here in the front, uh, in order to get the kind of shape that I wanted, I wanted some facets, um, I wanted a little bit of angul angularity in the front, um, I, I put in a bunch of extra edges and you know it makes it a little bit messy but we're going to build on top of this so that's not going to matter and then same kind of thing here in the back where I've uh, got some odd topology the way the scoops around in the back but um, it's not really critical to the way that this is going to work because what we're looking at here is just the overall silhouette so we're looking at how this is from the side we're looking at how um, it looks from the top and from the front and then in you know a perspective as it's you know descending down um, you know, to, to do its job, we want to see, um, you know, some kind of nice silhouette with that. So I think this is uh, what I've come across that I like, uh, just experimenting around with the uh, stuff that we've looked at in the previous uh, videos. So now what we're going to do is let's have a look at, at how we're actually going to flesh this out a little bit. And before I actually start uh, building a, a more uh, solidified exterior that's going to work for uh, kind of a finished model, um, I wanted to show a little bit of what's going on on the inside. So what I've done here is I'm going to go ahead and hide the fuselage, and uh, you can see that um, I have actually fit in three full levels of, um, of space here. So I'm going to start here. Let's hide the couple of levels here. So the very lowest level is uh, space for the crew. So uh, this only has space for four people. Um, you know, it's got bunks, it's got eating area, it's got, um, you know, bathroom area, pretty much everything that they would need. Um, then on the next level up, on the main level, um, this is uh, got a lot more space for the uh, for the troops that are going to be dropped. So I realized as I was working on the shape um, that I liked it with a little bit more width and not too skinny. So uh, because of that, the area for the drop bay actually uh, gave me more space than I needed. So I was able to put uh, two full racks for uh, for the troops for the drop area. So now I can fit two dozen troops. Um, moving back, there is uh, an area like a prep room where they've got gear, lockers, that kind of stuff. Uh, there's a mess hall here, uh, a couple of just extra rooms. This could be, you know, the head or the showers or whatever. Um, a secondary uh, bridge area here, and this is going to be uh, where you'd have some tactical equipment, extra monitors and stuff like that. Uh, and then this is the main cockpit, which uh, if I bring the the characters and you can see they fit in there and then we can move on to the upper level where we've got um, some storage sleeping area for the troops and then an engineering uh, engine room back here that's going to be up against where the engines actually go so if we bring the fuselage back in here and we look at the orthos um, you can see that this stuff all fits in there and it fits in with a lot of extra room um, on the sides here that will be um, mounting for our drive pods and um, uh, also plenty of room up at the top for, um, you know, any kind of life support or anything else that you need. There's also room here in the back for these main engines, and everything is kind of housed nicely and with plenty of padding, but enough room to be able to get the job done. Now, depending on what you're going to do with uh, with this, you may or may not need to go through this step. Really, all that's going on here is, aside from the stuff that I had imported that I was already going to be using, the uh, the cockpit stuff and the, and the drop bay stuff, this is basically the cube tool run amok you know uh, cube some bevels and then just scaling and moving everything around so this is not a lot of work this is basically just taking the time uh, to figure out spacing and then it lets me make a lot more sense of the overall uh, form of the ship so um, I, I find that that is a really useful thing to do as you're working on the shape and it kind of helps uh, to allow then the uh, the function of the ship to dictate some of its form uh, and I think that's going to be pretty useful considering this is supposed to be a military ship all right, so I'm going to bring the fuselage back in here. And then the other thing that I wanted to show here, and this is uh, pretty useful if you're working on an interior, exterior kind of mix, uh, the topology tab actually works very well to give you a good visualization of this. Because you can see with all of my interior stuff selected, uh, that's now visible and uh, you can see it through the uh, the main body. So this allows you to have kind of a good x-ray view of what's going on. And you can see where, you know, I've got extra space here uh, fore and aft that will be for weapons. Um, you know, midship will be for the mounts for our drive pods, which I can bring the drive pods back in here. Um, and then 
aft, I've also got plenty of space here for engines. So uh, good to let me know what kind of space I have uh, as I start working on this. This will also help me to know where my doors are going to be for my uh, for my drop bay. Uh, this will let me know if I wanted to create another entrance here um, where I would need that to be. Um, you know, maybe forward or on the, the midsection here. And um, yeah, so now we're going to continue on. And for the moment, I'm just going to hide all of the interior. Um, now we're going to actually look at creating something that's going to be more usable geometry uh, for this ship. So let me go ahead and hide the engines. And I'm going to make a new mesh item, which we'll call hull. And this is where we're going to start actually putting in uh, the pieces that will end up being uh, the finished pieces for the hull. So um, as I was working on this roughed out version, there are some things that I liked about the shape and some things that I did not. But knowing that we're going to come in here and, uh, and build on top of this allows me to have that flexibility to move more quickly in that ideation phase. And, you know, you can think of that as your, again, like your thumbnail sketches. This is going to be grabbing a napkin and a, and a pen and just starting to, uh, to doodle some things out. You can do the same same thing here in 3D. And uh, so, you know, in not very much time at all, I was able to crank out actually quite a few different uh, versions here and uh, and decide on the one that I liked. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at uh, the parts that I think work pretty well. I like this top surface here and I like most of the sides. I'm not super happy with kind of the, the guppy rounding part down here. So I'm going to actually solidify that a little bit. Um, and then I, again, I'm not real happy with the kind of rounding down here. So the nice thing is when we're working with topology, um, in the topology tab here, you can really easily go in and just kind of gloss over the things that you don't like and keep in the stuff that you do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start across the top of the ship here. And I'm going to start just with the pen tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark out uh, one big chunk here with just one big panel. Okay, and this is going to be kind of how I'm going to start laying out the whole ship. Now, I'm going to do this in a fairly low polygon manner, and what I'll do is create uh, these panels that are going to start off all stuck together, but then I'm going to extract them and uh, create something with a little bit more thickness, and the pieces will actually assemble together. So uh, let's go ahead now. Once I have something down as a baseline, I'm going to go into my uh, topology pen and just shift, click, and drag. Uh, in order to start placing out uh, additional pieces of the hole here. So let's make just some minor adjustments as we go on. And in the middle here, I'm actually going to bring these up all the way to meet. Now, I may or may not want that. I might want some space in the middle, but I think for now that, uh, that will be okay. So now I can uh, shift and right click to pull uh, an entire group of polys, so an entire edge loop forward. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these loops all the way down to kind of right behind uh, the main area for the cockpit. And I'm not looking at creating a a lot of um, a lot of geometry here. I'm looking at keeping this uh, fairly simple because now we're looking at cleanup. Now, if you're doing this for something like a game engine, this would be where you're uh, taking and reducing your poly count in order to get something uh, lower poly for game. Now, in this case, what we're doing is we're creating something lower poly to allow us to have uh, more flexibility in the next stage when we start to um, add subdivision surfaces and to put this in, um, you know, something that has a lot of detail with the hole plating. All right, so I want to be able to actually create something that you get the feel that it's actually assembled, and this is going to allow me to do that. So let's go ahead and clean up through here. And I think that's as far back as I'm going to go here. Uh, so now I'm going to come down the sides. And at some areas, you may want to add in some of the rounding. Um, at, this per at this point, though, I'm not going to. I'm actually going to leave these all as kind of straight, uh, big faceted um, edges uh, because I can go in and put those things in later as either I make connections between the panels or as I create kind of a big sweeping panel, you know, maybe in this case um, that is going to connect several of these pieces together. So I'm not going to worry much about 
um, actually making any rounding at this point. So this is where you can uh, go and take some real time to, to figure out how you want uh, the structure of your ship to work. So if you want to create something that uh, that you want to be able to have control over, you know, how it was actually manufactured, and you get the feel that this was actually, in fact, manufactured, then this is a good time to do that because you can start to think out, um, you know, what you're going to be working on. Now, in this case, also, I want to kind of take um, and give myself enough work room here to be able to, um, you know, have the pieces that I need. So let's go ahead and do that. And now I'm going to start here where I didn't like this uh, kind of uh, guppy shape here. So I'm going to take and pull these edges down. And we're just going to kind of go straight over that. Now I may need to pull those forward once I'm done. But for now I can just let them kind of round or let the rounding happen over the top of them. So let's go ahead and connect that there. And that there. Um, and from here, this is really just uh, going to be, again, thinking about uh, the kind of function that you want to have as you are looking at, you know, how this is going to be assembled. So you can think about where you would want big hole panels, uh, where you would need uh, to have, you know, some open access points. You can start large with big polygons, and you can work your way down into smaller things as you go, because once you have this... Um, you know, this main body out of the way, this uh, kind of messy piece out of the way, you can start to actually add in uh, some nice additional detail. So let's go ahead and I want this to stay as kind of a straight-ish line down through here. And then we're going to round it around through the bottom underneath here. So in this point, I'm going to flatten these polygons out. And what you're looking for is trying to maintain uh, quads for the most part. But if you don't, it, at this point, it's not going to be super important. Uh, but I am trying to just kind of keep uh, some nice flow of my topology for the most part. So let's go ahead and correct these parts. And as you go, make sure that uh, you do snap pieces together. As you're working in symmetry with the topology tool, you or the topology pen tool rather, you may notice that uh, sometimes it won't snap um, to your existing uh, geometry, one part to another. So it's a good idea to kind of check and, and make sure as you go uh, that that is happening. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm just going to finish up the forward part of this, kind of back to the midsection, and then we'll pause and, uh, and skip ahead and talk about um, how, how we're finishing this. So let's go ahead and be careful here so we don't snap down to the wrong piece. I think something like that works. And then I can just drag back a hole row of edges there snap together the outside ones and I'm going to try and space these a little bit here as this is the expanding section and I don't want all of my polygons to be uh, jumbled up in the middle there all right I think that works and then I'm going to pull out here and sometimes it works well to kind of alternate rows as you're going with the uh, the topology tool because it will allow you to get a little bit better placement and then it's very simple to just take one edge and just uh, snap it to the next one above. Uh, that allows uh, me, as I'm working on this, to create something that's a little bit more clean and I have a little bit more control without the edges trying to pull on each other. So uh, just a note as I'm doing this, that's kind of what I'm doing uh, through these sections here. All right. Okay, so now you can see I've got pretty much the whole forward section done here. And here, let's actually uh, finish out this part here on the mid. These are some nice big kind of flat sections of the ship, and I want to make sure that I maintain that kind of nice linear feel there. And let's actually pull this one up to there. And let me snap that in there. This one will go to here and to there. And then we're just about done with this portion of the ship. So let's just pull up through there. And again, if you alternate uh, 
the edges that you're pulling on, it will allow you, or that you're extending from with the pen tool, will allow you to get a little bit cleaner work through. Okay, so now let's hop back over to the model tab here, hide the main fuselage. So you can see here, this is now a much more simplified uh, version. And the nice thing about it being simplified in this way at this stage is that I, I can much more easily go in, even if I just put this straight into subdivision surfaces, you can see it's nice and it's clean. Um, but as I go ahead and start extracting pieces of these in order to make uh, the individual panels of the ship, um, I'll have a lot more ability to uh, to go in and really create something that works well, adding in detail just as I need it, because now I'm not worrying so much about uh, just the overall form, I'm actually worrying about how the pieces assemble. So I'm going to go ahead and pause here for a second so we can uh, sweep through the back end of the ship, it's going to be just in the same way we did up here, uh, and then we'll come back and look at how to work on this specialized area that's the front uh, where the canopy is going to be.